Hello, I am Hermes. I will be your narrator. In Brave Browser, you can connect a locally hosted AI model to enhance your browsing experience. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up. First, you'll need to have a large language inference server installed, running at least one LLM model. In this tutorial, a Llama will be used, but you could use any OpenAI chat protocol compatible framework, such as LM Studio or OpenLLM. Only a change to the server endpoint URL will be needed. If you don't have it already, you can download Olama at olama.com. It is available for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. All right, open the browser settings. In the left column, select Leo. This shows the Leo configuration settings. Now, here's something to understand about Leo. Leo is the Brave Browser's AI assistant. However, Leo itself is not an AI model. Instead, it is a framework for the browser by which AI models can be connected, either remotely or locally. You can learn more about Leo at brave.com forward slash Leo. Over here is the drop-down menu for selecting the default model for Leo. It comes with six options, with it initially set to Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter version. This particular version is hosted remotely on Brave servers, but with privacy guarantees. So it's not a bad default option. However, we want to use a locally hosted LLM. So to do that, we'll configure our own model down below under the Bring Your Own Model section. Click on the button Add New Model. The label text box is where you'll enter the name of your model. You can use any name you want. This name is what you'll see in the Model Selection drop-down menu after your model has been connected. For the model request name, you'll enter in the exact name as it appears in Olama or whatever inference server you're using. If you're not sure exactly what it is, you can find out by using the terminal in Linux or Windows. Type Olama list. A list of all the local AI models in Olama will be displayed. I'll be using Gemma 3, 12 billion parameter version. You, however, can use any model you want. But keep in mind that some models might not be best suited for Leo. I suggest that you avoid thinking models. However, perhaps you prefer to, and that's fine. The great thing about using local AI is that the preference is yours and yours alone. Next, you'll enter the server endpoint. This is the URL where the server is listening for requests. For Olama, the URL will be localhost colon 11434 slash v1 slash chat slash completions. However, if you happen to set a custom port number for Olama, then replace 11434 with whatever it is. The context size is the maximum length of a conversational session that can fit in the memory of the model. If the conversation proceeds beyond the context size, the model will begin to forget the earliest interactions. You can think of context size as the model's short-term memory. Each model has its own maximum context size. In Olama, the models that are downloaded through Olama servers will typically have a context size set lower than the model's true capacity. For example, Although Gemma 3 12 billion parameter version has a maximum context size of 128,000, by default, Olama sets it to only 8,192. This can be changed, however, but is beyond the scope of this tutorial. To see the currently set context size for a model in Olama, type into the terminal, Olama Show. 
and the name of the model. The set size for my model is 8192, so I'll enter that in for the context size. Even this small size should be sufficient for most tasks. An API key is not needed for a local model, so we'll skip this. The system prompt is where you can customize the behavior of your model concerning the style of its responses and the persona it presents to the user. This can be very fun. You could, for example, instruct the model to roleplay as a character from a video game, a movie, a book, or your own imagination. But if you prefer not to, you can ignore this step. A default system prompt is provided for you, but if you are interested, just select the text field and start typing. As for me, I am going to customize my model to roleplay as a talking llama from Peru. He is a private investigator and a keen researcher. Now that I customize the model, I am going to return to the label and edit the model's name. All right, Llama PI, I like that. If you would like to use the same prompt as me, then you can find it below in the video description. All that is left to do is to click the button, Add Model. Our model is now created. We can now see it listed in the Model drop-down menu. Since it is selected, we can try it out. I found a Wikipedia page about llamas. I'll click the star icon to bring up the Leo UI. The name of the page is shown here, indicating that Leo is contextually aware of the page. Below are two predefined actions that can be selected. Summarize this page and suggest questions. The summarize this page is especially useful since it is the main use case for Leo. All right, I'll click summarize this page. Here's a problem you might experience. Sometimes the model won't have immediate access to the page, even though there's indication that it does. To fix this, simply copy the URL of the page and submit it as a prompt. Nice, I have a summary. Now, I'll test to see if I can find specific information in the page content. I am going to ask about this highlighted information. Very good. The information given matches the information on the page and even includes additional details. This additional detail drawn from the model's own internal knowledge makes Leo a great research tool. The tutorial is now complete. I hope it has been useful to you. If you followed along, you now have your own local model to enhance your web surfing. More videos like this one are planned. But for now, goodbye.